Japan has vowed to defend Taiwan as China threatens to invade. A new missile defense system is key. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Japan is very worried about China's threats to invade Taiwan. That's because if Taiwan falls, the Japanese islands could be next. That's why Japan's deputy prime minister recently said Japan must defend Taiwan if China invades. Another top Japanese defense official recently said the world needs to protect Taiwan. And Japan's defense white paper mentioned Taiwan's stability for the first time ever. And it turns out, Japan has been preparing for a Chinese invasion for years. In 2017, Japan began building missile defense systems on its southern islands. This is a strategic area for the defense of both Japan and Taiwan. The Ryukyu Islands, which include Okinawa, Miyakojim, and Ishigaki, are to the sides of the Miyako Strait. It's an important seaway the Chinese military could potentially use to enter the Pacific. They're also near the Senkaku Islands, Japanese-administered islands that China also claims. But the southernmost island, Yonoguni, is just under 70 miles away from Taiwan. You can actually see Taiwan from it. Missile bases on these islands would be critical to the defense of Taiwan if Chinese forces tried to surround Taiwan on multiple fronts. They could also provide a staging ground for U.S. forces. So Japan has big plans for these islands. More after the break. Welcome back. Japan has been putting missile bases on its southernmost islands for years now, but things are beginning to ramp up. In August, Japan's defense minister said, Tokyo plans to deploy medium-range ground-to-air guided ammunition units, ground-to-ship guided ammunition units, and 500 to 600 troops on Ishigaki by the end of March 2023. The Japanese military also plans to put an electronic warfare unit on the island of Yonaguni. That's the island you can see Taiwan from. Japan's defense ministry is also seeking a record budget, $52 billion, to get stealth jets and the long-range missiles these southern islands need. This marks a tenth consecutive annual increase in the defense budget, and the largest percentage growth since fiscal 2014. But for context, $52 billion is still far less than the more than $200 billion China spends on its military. Still, Japan is seeking to gain an edge through what Japan calls game changers. These include potentially electromagnetic weapons that can target drones and other aerial threats, as well as satellites and radar systems. The idea of Japan defending Taiwan terrifies the Chinese Communist Party. After all, the Chinese military is almost completely untested in battle. So the Communist Party is using its favorite tactic. It's trying to convince Japan that a fight with China would be so bloody, there's just no point in having a fight in the first place. Recently, this video was circulating in China, threatening Japan with nuclear annihilation. Hu Xi Jin, the editor-in-chief of my favorite Chinese state-run media, the Global Times, said China will destroy Japanese forces in a Taiwan conflict. What's he basing that on? No clue. And now it's time for me to answer a question from a member of the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army, viewers who join us in our battle to expose the Chinese Communist Party by contributing to the show on the crowdfunding websites Patreon and Locals. Isaac Puckett on Locals asks, Recently, the U.S. seems determined to fan out our Pacific bases in order to spread out our bases near China. Will that be enough to combat the Chinese Missile Corps? Great question. 
For years, basically the entire U.S. Air Force in the Western Pacific was concentrated on just two bases. Fighter jets at the Kadena Air Force Base in Okinawa, Japan, and bombers and big support planes at Guam's Anderson Air Force Base. Essentially, all of its eggs were in two baskets. China knew this. That's why, after years of buildup, the Chinese rocket force possesses around 1,300 ground-launched missiles with sufficient range to hit Kadena and Anderson from mainland China. So the U.S. is now fanning out. Warplanes and personnel are being redistributed to other bases in the region. That definitely would make it harder for the PLA rocket force to wipe out U.S. forces in a quick strike. Of course, again, China's rocket force is untested. How capable they would actually be can only truly be seen in a conflict. China is putting a lot into developing what it calls aircraft carrier killer missiles. Huh. It's almost like they're telling us they want to fight the U.S. But remember, the U.S. also has many allies in the region. Besides Japan, Taiwan, Australia, and maybe New Zealand, if an actual conflict occurred, all of China's neighbors would know this is it. We either support the U.S. side, or we're all under Beijing's thumb forever. The Chinese regime understands that a conflict would not go in its favor, which is why I mentioned earlier that their favorite tactic is to try to convince other countries to give up without fighting. Much easier that way. Thanks for your question and your support, Isaac Bucket. And a big thank you to everyone who's joining us in the fight to expose the Chinese Communist Party to the world. Making the show is hard, what with YouTube censorship and demonetization, and the fact that most advertisers aren't brave enough to work with us. So we rely on your support. You can join over at patreon.com slash chinancensored or chinancensored.locals.com. You get different perks with each, so check them out. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.